Hello, I am Dr. Nupur Sood. I am an obstetrician, gynecologist and a gynec laparoscopic surgeon. I have been practicing for the last 12 years and at present I am heading the department of gynecology at Narayana Hospital, HSR. So basically fibroids or myomas as we call them, they are benign overgrowths of muscle inside the uterus and they are of three varieties. The first variety is when they are present on the outside of the uterus. Even if they are small in size, they should not be bothered about and only when they increase 5 centimeters or more in size causing pressure disturbances, that's the time when they may need to be operated. The second variety is the intramural, that is they are present within the wall of the uterus. They may start causing slight bleeding disturbances and pain during periods if they are hanging for too long and getting degenerated. The third variety is the one which is more concerning, which is present within the lining of the uterus and even if they are small and tiny, they cause very heavy flow during periods and they cannot be treated with medications. That needs an immediate surgery. Now the question is that whether the myoma alone should be removed or the fibroid. The answer depends on individual patients but definitely if you are a young patient we definitely suggest that a uterus should be preserved and fibroid alone should be removed. Especially if you have not yet conceived then you would want to preserve the uterus. So a fibroid alone can be easily removed with certain techniques. You need to understand that these fibroids can recur. So there is no magical surgery for that and second is that the ones which are concerning and which are troubling you are the ones which have to be removed during the surgery. So as to prevent any sort of future damage to the uterus also because after all you are looking for fertility also. It may also happen that you have completed your family but you do not wish for a uterus removal. If your fibroid is large it alone can be removed. But keep in mind that there is a certain risk of this recurrence of these fibroids.